Well, it's our first show of the new year. I'm Michael D. This is the Michael D. Show in Dallas, Texas, in the Beyond Publishing Studios. And our first guest, Dr. Reed Hubert. Dr. Reed, thanks for being with us. Hey, thanks for having me, Michael. It's called Four T's to a Better You. How long have you been practicing in healthcare? And then what is this book all about? Yeah, so I've been doing this for 27 years. And I've always had, for 28 years, I've always wanted to write a book. But it has to be original or it has to be nothing. Mm -hmm. And I was walking across my kitchen in July of 2020 in the heat of the pandemic. All of a sudden, this last piece that I've been fighting with for years came through. And at that point, I said, it's time to write a book. So it all came together. And so two years later, this is where we're at. This is where you're at. Yeah. And uh, congratulations. I mean, it's a big task to write a book. And how did you come up with this idea? Yeah, the, the great thing is, is within my profession, they've had the first three thoughts, toxins, and trauma for uh, about 113 years it's been written down. Uh, and so there was always a piece to me that was missing where I couldn't, as a healthcare practitioner, explain why that person had that or why this was the way it is until finally genetics reared its ugly head and then went traits. So I came up with the acronym of just adding traits to what we call the three T's mm -hmm. to four T's. And it made it all encompassing for diseases and sickness to the human body incorporates all those four areas. So when you have a sickness or a disease, it either starts in one or it can incorporate all four. That's how it works. Wow. It's a very holistic approach. You're helping people. What are you talking to patients about when they come in? Because you know, growing up in the U.S., it seems like I grew up with these pharmaceutical commercials since I was a kid, and I was always amazed at the long list of things it's going to do to you. It's going to kill you. It's going to do this to you. It's going to do that to you. What do you tell your client? The biggest thing about this book is essentially what we've been talking about in my office for 27 years, and what it comes down to is it's up to you. Mm -hmm. You do the healing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what you have. It doesn't matter cuts, bruises, chemistry, anything. Your body does it all. And so it's self-empowering to understand if you take care of this instrument, that's the best thing you can do for yourself health-wise. And every single solitary book that's been written on health involves one of these four areas, but it's an all-encompassing. I want everybody to know that the power that made the body heals the body. It happens no other way. Yeah. The so. power that made the body heals the body and the body heals itself. Yes. Wow. And what we have to be able to do, because we just came through this pandemic is we have to get back to go forward. We have to realize how amazing and how special we are that in your small intestine alone called the microbiome, you have up to 120 trillion microbes. That's the that big number. Big number that works together for you. Mm. And that's what people are missing. So we came through the pandemic being told our bodies are the problem. This is the issue. No, it's not. The vaccinations helped. But if it wasn't for the wonders of the human body, what to do with the vaccination, it would never work. What can somebody do if they've already messed up their gut or gone overboard with too many injections? Yeah, what everybody actually needs is they need a healthcare team. Mm -hmm. You need numerous people, numerous opinions, so you get a broad look at how this works. Mm -hmm. The biggest issue we have in healthcare is, first of all, the healthcare system is a mess, and it's only going to get worse. Yeah. So I, in the book, I put in there that You're we're so getting encouraging, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's a real realist. Yeah, thing. it's a, there's a little realist here and I'm not going to lie to you. And yeah. so it's like the top of a funnel. All this stuff is going in there. What I wanted to do was take all this stuff, come down to the bottom and go look in these four areas. Yeah. If you look in these four areas, you may be able to take care of yourself and be better. It's not about being perfect. Yeah. It's about being better. Well, I think having that fourth T is revolutionary for a lot of people. I know you're speaking everywhere now, and I want to get into that. But before I get into that, you kind of mentioned COVID. Tell us a little bit about with the COVID pandemic, how did, uh, was it the right time for these four T's? Yeah, what happened when we went in the COVID pandemic, first of all, I don't have all the answers. And I would never want to be the leader of the country telling everybody what to do. Yeah. But when it came to COVID, where we did mess up and we need to learn for the next pandemic is we treated COVID as a toxin, but we forgot about people's thoughts. We forgot about trauma. And then we forgot about how the body's going to respond through genetics. Mm -hmm. That's where we screwed up. Yeah. So we were shutting down things that people needed for their spirituality, for their thoughts. Yeah. And we were harming ourselves with toxins. And it was just, so if you look at the four T's, where does COVID fit in? It fits in the toxin category. 
So there's your toxin. And what do you do? So instead of everybody going out and saying, hey, you need some fresh air, you need good food, you need good water. Oh yeah, and by the way, you need to be around people and you need to be in nature to build your immune system. We looked at the body as a problem and the body was a solution and it actually came through because the biggest thing when this novel, this new, uh, excuse me, virus came into us, uh, we don't know if there's immunity. Well, if that was the case, none of us would be here throughout history. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 So there's not a one size fits all approach to healthcare is what I'm hearing you say. Not only that, you can never define health because everybody's different. Mm. So I, what works for me may not work for you. That's why you need a team of people. Yeah. You need these differing opinions instead of one strong opinion because you may need that to save your life. Mm. But what do you do after mm. COVID comes in and wrecks your body? You got to build your body back up. Well, how do you do that? You need differing opinions. How important is nutrition? And then how do you address it in the book? Nutrition is... It is one of the things that America is going to learn its lesson on. Right now, we only eat food to fill ourselves up and it tastes good. Two very dangerous things. So what we want to do is nutritional food first, and then hopefully it fills you up. That's what we need to start doing. So actually our food is toxic and that's what we're seeing with obesity. But remember now we have drugs to save that. We now have two drugs where you can give yourself a shot, drop 20 pounds. But if you look at the side effects that are coming through, and then you look at, you're going to have to get that shot every year to keep that 20 pounds off and all the side effects, and there's a toxin. People don't understand every single solitary thing in the human body involves chemistry. Interesting. Everything. That's how pharmacy works. It's all chemistry. But all your chemical reactions in your body from your eyesight to your hearing is chemical. I wasn't good in math and algebra, but I do know if you move it to the other side, something's got to go. You're okay. Up. Yeah, absolutely. I'm glad I don't need math in my healthcare practice. So four T's in, in everyday life, tie this together for somebody that's uh, buying this book for a friend. And I think everybody should buy this for family members and children. Uh, the four T's in everyday life, what's the big takeaway? The big takeaway is this. You got four categories to work on. That's where you're going to find your cause of your problem. And then how do you empower yourself in each one of these four categories? So let's take depression. Everybody's screwing up on depression because we only think it's a mental problem. We only think it's a thought problem. But I can tell you right now, if you're eating junk food and you're screwing up your intestinal lining, they're in depression. Wow. So it, depression can involve all four areas. Amazing. So it's that's what we need to start doing. Empowering yourself, how do you do this? Where do you start? It's where you start. Well, it's a great book. It's called Four T's to a Better You, Thoughts, Toxins, Trauma, and Traits. Dr. Reed Hubert, what's the best way for people to get a hold of you, have you on their podcast, on their stage? Yeah, by the time everybody sees this, this is going to be on my tappingintouncomfortable.com. Yeah. We're also going to have a podcast going so that people can learn more in depth about what's in the book and how to take care of themselves. And so tappingintouncomfortable.com is where you can start with me. So what are some of the uncomfortable things you, you're you going to talk about to help people think differently? That's what we, that's why we call it tapping into a comfortable. We find that if you become slightly uncomfortable, it might make you make changes. And in my book, I put in there, what we want people to have is that aha moment where you go, aha, versus I'm sorry to tell you that you have a disease. Yeah. And so that's what we want to do. We want to get them to go, wait, let's yeah. make, keep it simple and get a little uncomfortable and either get mad at me because yeah. I told you the truth. Or, or make changes. It's the flashing lights at the top of cliff saying the bridge is out, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And yeah, yeah, and I'm here to tell you, these are burning white hot right now in this yeah. country. And these four areas where these are at, I'm telling you, the cause of some of our problems is right here. Now, I know you're getting asked to speak everywhere. You know, uh, you've done healthcare for years. What are some of the topics you speak about on podcasts, on stage? On Zoom. Yeah, what I'll actually do, it depends on the organization or where mm -hmm. we're at, is I'll try, because this is so universal, mm -hmm. I'll try to make it match the audience that I'm dealing with or who I'm dealing with. That's, that's what you can do with this.